C Sharp has a concept of implicit and anonymous types, which I'm going to talk about for just a second. So an implicit type is a way to declare a variable without you specifying what the type is. So if you've used JavaScript, this will look really familiar. Uh, it works the same way. So if I say var uh, name equals Matt, well, I didn't say that this was a string, this name, but it actually is a string. Uh, so if I hit that, you'll see that I get all the same uh, properties and methods that I would expect on a string. And if I try to set it equal to something that's not a string, uh, like an integer, it's going to fail. So this is an implicit type. You're just telling the compiler, hey, figure it out. I'm going to set this equal to something. You figure out what the type actually is. And you can do this with anything. So let's say that I had, I mean, I could say an integer, a uh, float, you know, whatever uh, you, you choose here. But it's going to always have that type. It can't be changed later on. Uh, so it's just a shorthand way to do your to sh to have your code um, where you don't have to actually explicitly put your type in, and it might be convenient if you're you know calling a function and getting something out, or if your type is really long or something to that effect. Another thing that you can do is create anonymous types. So I can say var test equals new, and then I can just start naming off. Um, things here uh, let's see and now I've got this type test and I can see name and age on it uh, but this type doesn't exist anywhere it doesn't have a, an actual named type instance name there is one behind the scenes in the compiler but you don't have access to it and you can't see it uh, and you can't pass this around anywhere either so I can't pass this type because it's an anonymous type and no one would know what you were passing to them. It's just for the function that you're currently in. So if you only need, uh, you don't want to necessarily define an entire type to do something, but you want some type safety, then you can do it like this. And you use the var keyword here because you don't know what the type is going to actually be uh, because the compiler creates one for you um, at the time that you create it. So these are implicit and anonymous types. Uh, you might use implicit uh, a decent amount just because you want to shorthand that. Um, but anonymous types, you probably won't use all that often. So go out there and start using them.